what exactly do I have to do? I need someone I can trust. Someone who'd be willing to go to bat for me. But mostly, I just need you to keep on doing what you've already been doing. Building up settlements and kicking ass. From what I've seen so far, you more than fit the bill on the kind of partner I need. Depends. What's in it for me? You're wanting to build settlements, right? Well, join with me, and we'll make settlements that are the envy of the entire wasteland. All right. I'm in. <laughs> Hell yeah! You are not gonna regret this! I suppose a proper introduction is in order. Name's Jake. Jake Evans. And it's a pleasure to be working with you. Uh, thanks. You too. All right. With the formalities out of the way, let me answer a query of yours. Earlier, you showed an interest in getting more out of ASAMs. Now, if that's something you really are serious about, then I know where to find the equipment we need. However, there is a small problem. Let me guess. Raiders again? <laughs> Sharp as a tack. You're right, of course. It's our old friend, Raiders. The place with the ASAM equipment has been claimed by a raider gang. Really dug their heels in. And they're not open to doing trade. But I reckon together we could break into the little base and grab what we need. However, we would be in for a tough fight. So, you think you'd be up for that? Taking on a raider stronghold? Don't worry. I'll help you deal with these raiders. Well, all right. Now, this equipment we're after was delivered from Concord Hardware to an old Air Force satellite station called Olivia. So that's where we'll be heading. But before we go there, might want to make a pit stop or two. There's a small trading post not far from here, Drumlin Diner. Might be worth stopping by, gear up on supplies. Also, I've got a small cache of gear hidden nearby, Olivia. It's probably still there. Would be useful for our little venture. I'll mark your pit board with our points of interest, but it's up to you what we do. I'm handing over the reins. What's up, everybody? It's Kirk from Maximus. And what you just saw there was a prime example of the excellent dialogue and cutscenes you can get in the new mod that came out recently for Fallout 4 called Sim Settlements 2, which allows you to literally. Like in the old Sim Sim one, one put down sensors and grow your colony that way. I have no idea why I have a light group. <laughs> That's gonna annoy me. But anyway, um, this fine fellow right here is the one that guides you through it. For building residential areas, for building industrial areas, and even uh, farming areas this as well. Let me run sure it real quick to the. Come on, let's turn this into a settlement. Kellogg? Why do you mention Kellogg? Life in the Commonwealth is exciting. I hope I get to explore more of it. I could have sworn I had a really large uh, farm around here. There it is. So yeah, you could even upgrade your farms to be massive. Though I don't see any crops growing right there at the moment. I know it's working because the game tells me I have lots of food coming in. But yeah, he gives you... Uh, all kinds of missions along the way. Uh, scavengers delight. Optional. Find Jake's catch of equipment. Then travel to Sally Station in order to do it. So, I got a mission there anyway for uh, da, 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 a farm. I could have sworn I found that farm. I guess I didn't do it in this playthrough. Huh. Return the favor, yeah. I got that as well, okay. So anyway, I'm really early in the game. I'm only level five. And then level five, in fact, if you're using a Ryzen mod like I am, they highly recommend that you get bands because it gives you five bonus per points. So this, uh, this is gonna be interesting to play. Oh yeah, and I tried to originally start off <laughs> as a raider, so that's why I started here. If you use the Sim Salmons too, they kind of script it towards having Sanctuary as your first call settlement, which makes sense because most people do that. I was just dealing with one oddball who decided, hey, let me go over to 
somewhere else and try to be a raider until I got the mod working. And I was like, okay, maybe not. But maybe I'm not going to be a raider. But I'm very impressed with this mod. I'm very impressed by the uh, dialogue. The NPCs they created. Don't mind me, I'm just going to grab me some flowers. Uh, I also have... Ellen, the uh, cartographer, mod on as well. Now, one thing I will warn you is if you're trying to install this mod and you're having a hard time doing it because it keeps crashing on you over and over again, it's very script heavy. So it will eat, it's a heavy, it'll eat a lot of your RAM. Like I have two terabits of RAM and it's eating through most of it right now. So you have to actually lower your graphics. I have a really, really good graphics card, but I have to lower the settings down to medium in order to adjust for this, uh, my Chinese greatsword. Oh, hello. What are you thinking? Why do I have wolves? Why do I have seven hour mod increases your uh, chances for hunting? And apparently it adds wolves. I can't hit for quick. I also have it on hard difficulty. Now, the reason why I don't have it on survival at the moment is because I like my fast traveling. I like to be able to, uh, to test out this uh, mod sure to see how well it works. And get the... I hear mole rats. To get the, the uh, settlement started up, <clears throat> excuse me, so I could fast travel between them uh, as the intended with the mod. Uh, so yeah, let me get myself a level set up. I'm still level five, so it's understandable that. Come on, you can't hit that. <laughs> it's understandable why I don't have to save the and make my game a lot harder about worrying about food and drinks. We're not alone. Stay frosty. Life is here. A superhero of explosion. up a lot of XP out here. Thank you, guys. And food. What was that? Yeah. Ouch. Okay, do I have any gun of ammo? <laughs> That's the next question. Or I can just run up to him and slash him, which is a better idea. Yep, she'll block that. Okay. <clears throat> I'll loot him on the way back. Talk to Jake. There, let's stand in sunlight while we do this. Mm, I also have the um, face light mod on. Hey. Good job. You really don't so like. I don't know why his face is really dark now. There were a few lookouts around the perimeter, but I took care of them. Shouldn't have to worry about anyone raising the alarm. At least not right now. See, before we head in, would you care for a bit of advice? Sure. What's up? This particular raider group packs a little more artillery than the usual riffraff. And that includes some nasty big miniguns. Yeah. Just remember, miniguns need a few seconds to warm up before they start firing. So make sure you use that to your advantage. And make sure you get your ass behind some damn cover. You can't get hit by what can't see you. That GNN is really freaking out. Uh, I'll be fine. Don't worry. I'll be careful. Come on. Let's head on in. How fortified. Reminds me of the strip back home. Yeah, but first I gotta use a uh, bandage. Arrow A. There we go. Hmm, should I use two of them? I'm gonna loot all this on the way out. I was recommended to loot beforehand, that way you can break down all the armor. Oh, did I just see red here for a second? No. But, um, what else was I going to say? Yes, I, of course, I have, um, Sanctuary with the initial, like I said, the script 
kind of requires you to do the main quest. At least because busy on freedom. Because Jake's office is right in Concord across the street from the Museum of Freedom. So it kind of makes sense in that way. And then Sims 1, they actually had all the modules inside of the museum. Uh, what else was I going to say about this game? I don't remember. <laughs> it was uh, kind of a pain trying to get the mod work. Because I couldn't believe that I needed so much RAM in order to do so. Yeah, I'll get back to you guys when something interesting shows up. Because I don't want to run through this dungeon, which you probably guys have done a thousand times yourselves. How the hell did you get... <laughs> I... What kind of sorcery was that? <laughs> He's like, okay, I don't need to get this trap. Nope. That's because of the Horizon mod. too dark in here. Got a light? Actually, actually, that reminds me, I should be wearing. Uh, where did I hide it? Inventory, apparel, I have a hard hat, which is pretty cool. I'm be blind right now. There it is, my helmet. I like how the game's like, hey, you got a hard hat on, so, well, a minor helmet on, so it makes sense for the light to come out the top of your head instead of uh, your pit boy. We're in luck. Air Force kept a log of inventory, and it mentions a delivery from Concord right here. From Concord Hardware, delivery by Boston Direct, courtesy of sender K.S. Magnuson, out of one industrial sized Rob Crow Com Hub unit. Com Hub. That must be the ACM equipment we're here for. And I think it's stored behind that door up ahead, which is locked. Huh. Looks like it was recently tampered with. There's an extra level of security. Now, I reckon I could get through it, though. Just give me a few minutes. In the meantime, I'd appreciate if you take care of any raiders around. I don't like the idea of someone sneaking up on us while I work on this. Who's there? Oh, crap. <laughs> of course oh, he says that. Gone. Oh, right, down you go. Here you go, doggy. Poor doggy. I hate killing doggies. What a shame. Yep, I totally agree. Now you're probably thinking to yourself, why are you using the weapons and Fallout? And because I have a modded freaking Chinese great sword, I want to try it out. That's the only yeah, reason. Now. What do you think? Hey, buddy. Come around the corner. Come on. Yeah, All right, yeah. fine. If you don't want to come around the corner, I'll come around the corner. What was that? Yeah, I didn't hit him once. I got him out of the Hello. Oh. We're in the clear. Maybe I should heal up because this is on hard mode after all. Oh yeah, I'll split in the mods where I can smoke a cigarette. I'll do that later. That's pretty cool. That you can, because you, you see it all the time. You can't do it in combat, huh? I should know it better. Had to play hero, huh? Yep. Where are you? Miles well, loot stuff on here. Walking cane, I don't understand why that's a weapon. Security helmet, hey, pretty cool. Take your bandana, take your armor, thank you. Alright. The way to win this is to get Shit. closer Lost as possible. Him. Oh! Wait. You're mine oh, now, so rookie! Mm -hmm. Okay. 
I didn't. I don't know how am I still alive? I don't know how I survived that. I really don't. Yeah. You feel that? It's called fear. Oh, crap. <laughs> no. It's called catching my breath. Ow. And choppy choppy you go. Woo! She's recovering. Oh cool, I don't even have to use the stim pack on her. Thank goodness, because stim packs were really hard to get with the Horizon mod. Oh, you going... What? Combat. Oh crap, there's one more. Just die! Alright, fine, I'll use the combat stim pack. I should have blocked that. That's what I get for having my look sensitivity is so high. But I leveled up! Yay! Return to Jake. Someone there? What? There's one more left? Where? You're getting paranoid. There ain't nothing here. Yes, there is. There's definitely something here. Are you already upstairs? What the? There's two of them upstairs. Hello. Oh, we got a help chick now. <laughs> Completed help chick. Oh, buddy. Wow, oh, you okay? I guess first impacts. I don't want to pickpocket him. <clears throat> Boy, am I glad you showed me. Please don't step oh, on No matter how many times it happens, still don't like getting shot. Oh. Suck it up. <laughs> you can also joke too. Oh, what the hell, a joke? Where'd all this blood come from? Oh, just a mild side effect of a bullet in my gut. <laughs> oh, seriously though, this hurts something bad. Yeah, that's what's going to do. I'm some patching up here. You got any stim packs? Oh wow, you can actually say four. Huh, I wonder where I could use medic. Let's try that. Easy there. I can fix you up. Oh, that'll cure what ails you. Thanks. I guess having a medic uh, perk actually comes in handy after all. I mean, duh. Now going to heal more. Speaking of which, I'll probably use that bandage I've been with. Excuse me. Nope, oh, it's got nothing else to say. Raiders interrupted as I was finishing up. Just need to hit the last few keys on the terminal and... Hey, presto! <laughs> there we are. Let's take a peek inside, shall we? Help yourself to anything that takes your fancy. Only one thing I'm interested in, and I think it's right over here. I like his outfit. Minus the... Little strip he's got there in the left arm. I think the modders were trying to, to create the same kind of uh, bartender look that you had back in the old west, and they kind of messed it up a little Find bit. Anything useful? Poor dog. I think the chain. Taking your caps, and I'm leaving. Oh, you're good. That's a lot of loot. Moldy food. Who wants moldy food? No, thank you. Empty. Oh, interesting. Yes, I know I can take their clothes and break it down from cloth, but eh. not mini duke. I should install mod that makes hot chicken easier. Just for giggles. Nice. <laughs> that belongs on the garbage can. Let's find one. Uh, no. I want to actually keep it. And more spokes. Oh, yeah. That's pre war stuff, right? How did that survive? Hey, my parts for my. 
power armor. Eventually I'll have all the dust and chunks here to, to put it back together. So yeah, I'm gonna grab all this loot. Watch this. How do I... Do I talk to him about it? <coughs> well, well, well. What do we have here? I don't know huh. what messed Did up this look looks. That? Interesting. Very interesting. I must have a mod conflicting or something or the, the settings because this phase is way too burnt it, the, compared to the cutscene I had beginning of the video. What is it? Hmm? Oh, right. Take a look. Shipper label reads from Concord Hardware. This is definitely the equipment we're here for. No mistake there. This is the ACM comm hub. As best as I understand it, this thing connects to the sensors somehow, allowing them to do more stuff. But I wouldn't really know how it does that until I turn it on. Although looking at it, it doesn't look like time's been too kind to this old gal. I'm already seeing a fair number of damaged components. I wonder if it'll still be able to run. Calm down, nerd. <laughs> So, what now? Now, I suppose I lug this thing back to the hardware store. Tinker around and see what it's about. Well, I'd say we're done here. We found what we came for. No reason to stick around. You were a big help. There's no way I could have done this by myself. Can I get more sensors? Can I please get more sensors? I'd like to build more sentiments. Uh... Can you explain how this thing is actually going to work? Well, like I said... I won't really know until I can turn it on. I'm fairly familiar with ASAMs, but this is a new piece of technology for me. It's probably going to take a while to figure it out. So, is that it? <laughs> for now, I'm afraid so. Sorry if things weren't exciting enough for you. See, if you've not already done so, now might be a good time to get your bearings. Still can't imagine how overwhelming all this must be for you. Maybe check in on any settlements you've got going. Or if you think you might need more sensors, there may be some not too far from here. Bingo. A place called West Everett Estates. But I should warn you, area is overrun with super mutants. Might be a challenge for you, even after this. Oh yeah, definitely. What's a super mutant? Well, they're big, they're green, and tend to be pretty mean. No one seems to know where they come from. Maybe you wouldn't want to know even if you did. Yes, you did. <coughs> Generally speaking, they're best steered clear of. That sounds way too dangerous. Well, if you do decide to go, take care. I'll contact you once I've looked over the comm hub. Hopefully by then I should have some idea of how it works. Until then, stay safe out there, all right? Oh, and again, Sims great work today. Two. <laughs> is that uh, it has its own hidden little experience uh, system. So the more so, uh, more plots you put down, the more experience you get towards that kind of plot. For example, I'm looking at a residential one right now. I have built over 10, 11 plots so far, and you learn how to make multi-person homes as well. You can also as you put more down, learn, for example, different schematics that you can use to improve your settlements. So you're using, you're doing, getting more out of your plot. So min-maxing it, pretty much. Well, actually, is that how you use it? I forget. Multi-person. Buy. Accept. No, that's not how you do it. Whoa! <laughs> I think I overrode it. <laughs> but yeah, there is a possibility. There we go. Pay and build. 240 building materials, 62 organic materials. Ooh. I have plenty of... Um, building materials because I have like three freaking scrap yards. Yeah, three scrap yards here collecting me tons of rig materials. So now this uh, single home 
it's going to turn into a, a multi-person home for two. So I'm going to have more use out of my plot than before. Let's go back to that. We can put it on the grid. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully I don't get copyright for that. Anyway, this is the multi-home right here. It claims I don't see the multi-purpose of it. I only see one bed. Oh, there's two beds. I take that back. There we go. So now I can change all my homes. see what happens blows up yay it blows up <laughs> and now I will get an even bigger house to build there while well, that builds now you're probably wondering yourself how do you know how much material you have it's up there on the right hand side you can barely see it oh I only have 20 out of Twenty out of possible three thousand nine hundred I've stored up. I'll meet you in the middle. You can show me what you got. If you're feeling lucky tonight. Ooh, yeah. You can get a singer mod. Yeah, which gives you free music and increases the happiness of your uh town residents. But anyway, what I did is I put down two giant storage containers. So that's why I have a total of 3,900 for all the junk that these guys are collecting. And let me verify I have enough. Oh, wow. Half of this is going to the roof. 12 beds, 10 people, plenty of food, plenty of water, plenty of power. Yeah, supposedly that'll really, there, it's a giant windmill right there. Yeah. So probably the only thing I need is more defense, and I'm solid. One, two, three, yep. Four places to gather junk. Oh, he's complaining about not enough defenses. You see that? All right, fine. I'll put one more down. You happy now? Nope, he's still not happy about that. Oh well, too bad. Next thing I need is a water purifier, and this stuff is pretty much set. But yeah, I highly recommend getting Sim Settlements 2 and trying it out. Be sure. No, sorry, not be sure. Be, you're welcome to leave a comment if you can't figure it out. How to install it or to get it working though I'll recommend going to their wiki site first and see how what they have listed there as a, as a good thing to also remember is it has a very particular load order now that's badass it might say when you download the mod that it doesn't have any requirements but that's a total lie because on the wiki you'll find there is actually a couple mods that you have to get one of which being uh, the dialogue mod. So, that's entertaining. <laughs> so, uh, thank you guys for watching. Hope you have good luck trying out the uh, new mod, the Sim Cellar. And. Feel free to comment or post your own videos on how it turns out for you and how your settlements grow out. 